Shakey's Pizza and Versatile Video present Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League action between the Shooters and the Goldbusters. Welcome to Mira Mesa High School West. I'm Rick Lakin, and we'll be back for the start of today's game with all the action in just a moment. Welcome back to Mira Mesa High School West, where we have a game between the Goldbusters and the Shooters. This will be a scrimmage. The Goldbusters are in their own shirts. They don't have uniforms yet. So we'll be identifying them as we go based on what they have on their shirts. The Shooters in the blue defending the goal on the right. And there's a kickoff, number seven for the shooters. Going down, the goal busters heading into the shooter's goal. Out of bounds over on the far side. It'll be thrown in by Kathy Morgan. Goldbusters get it down into the shooter's side, deep in. A nice save. Gets it out. And the shooters will try to set it up down in the Goldbusters territory. That was a nice save by Gladys Swinsrud. Mari Phillips saves it, brings it back down. There by Leslie Mary. This'll stay in bounds, goes out of bounds. It'll be thrown in by Kathy Morgan. Looks like a call of uh, illegal use of hands against the Goldbusters. The shooters will get a free kick from their own end. Here we go. The free kick comes up for the shooters into the goal busters end. Handled there by number 10 for the shooters over to the shooters. Handled there in goal by Michelle Wagner for the goal busters. Sherry Castle picks it up at midfield, sends it down into the shooter's end. All the way down in. Nice shot. Let's take another look at that as the shooter uh, goal busters bring it down way into the end. Handled there by Terry Brim. Nice save by Sharon Penke. Back to action. Handled there by one of the goal busters down into the deep into the shooter's end. A shot on goal. Score by the goal busters. Let's look at that again. Uh, the goal busters bring it all the way down into the end. Get it past goalie Sharon Panky. So early here in the first period. The Goldbusters take a one to nothing lead over the Shooters. Who just scored the first goal for the Goldbusters uh, to give them a one to nothing lead over the Shooters in the Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League this preseason scrimmage. Here's the kickoff at center circle. Ready to go, here's the kickoff. <coughs> There to Andrea Brundage. Put back into play. Handled there by Christy Sutherland. Out of bounds where the shooters will put it into play. <coughs> There's Jean McPhee throwing it in for the shooters. Goes out of bounds again. 
where the shooters will put it into play. All the way down into the Goldbusters end. There's another shot saved by Sherry Benelli. Good job, Leslie. Good Keeps it in play. All the way down, the Goldbusters get it down deep. There's Sherry Castle again. She's going deep into that goal, taking it almost, gets a nice pass across to Christy Sutherland, saved by Sharon Pankey. But the Goldbusters are still on the attack. And it goes out of bounds where the Goldbusters will put it into play. Goes into Christy Sutherland all the way down in the corner there to Sylvia Hostetler. Here's the score again. Goldbusters one to nothing over the shooters here in the first period of play on that goal by Sherry Castle. Sharon Panky puts the ball into play from goal. Nice trap by Christy Sutherland. Shooters get out, get it out to midfield, out of bounds there by number 13, Donna Carlin. Jean McPhee will put it into play at, in, near the center for the shooters. Goes into Donna Carlin, over to Andrea Brundage. She gets a shot on goal. Sherry Benelli tries to get it, get a hold of it. Sharon, check that. Michelle Wagner gets it way out. Nice kick by Sharon Wagner, all the way out to center field. Kept in play. There's young me, Richter. Played by the shooters, number five. Mari Phillips gets his foot on it there. It goes out of bounds at the near side. There's the sideline, number 16, Leslie Mary, putting the ball into play. Young Mi Richter makes the play to get it back. Goldbusters, there's Young Mi again, and it goes out of bounds. Number 16, Leslie Mary will put it into play. Caught there by number five of the shooters. We don't have that name to go with a number. All the way into Michelle Wagner. Another nice kick by Michelle Wagner to get it almost all the way out to uh, a header there by Andrea Brundage. Kept in play by Jean McPhee, and it goes out of bounds. Sylvia Hostetler. Correction, who is that? That is um, Gladys Swenherd puts it into play for the Goldbusters, and it goes out of bounds again. Sylvia Hostetler puts the ball into play. Nice play by Michelle Santiago. Young Mi Richter fighting for the ball, gets it out of bounds. Fighting there with Leslie Mary, who throws the ball into play for the shooters. They get it deep down into the Goldbusters and handled there by number 10 of the shooters. There's Michelle Wagner, another nice kick. She gets it over to the near sideline. Young Mi Richter takes control and gets it up the sidelines where it goes out of bounds. There's Leslie Mary, number 16. Goes out of bounds again where Leslie will put it into play from the near sideline. There's the Goldbusters bench here on the near side. Are the goalie for the Goldbusters doing a really nice job. She's a very strong kicker. Has had a couple of kicks all the way out to the center. In play by number five of the shooters. I have a number, a shot on goal, missed. Nice, Sue, very nice. Just misses to the left, so Michelle Wagner will put it in play with a goal kick. There's number 13, Donna Carlon.
Carlin for the shooters. Doing a real nice job today. Shakey's Pizza and Versatile Video brings you this game and all the games that we do are shown at Shakey's Pizza. They're also available by contacting Shakey's Pizza. If you would like a copy of this tape, just give us a call at 695-1913. 693-1913. I'm sorry. There's Sherry Castle all the way into the shooter's goal. Just misses by about a foot to the left. Gets past goalie Sharon Panky. Let's take another look at that. Here's Sharon Castle bringing it in from center. All the way down past Sharon Panky, but just to the left of the goal. Goal busters have a one to nothing lead over the shooters at this point in the game. Back to live action. Sharon Panky sets it up, and she'll take a goal kick to put it back into the play for the shooters. Nice kick by Sharon Panky, fielded there by one of the shooters. Sylvia Hostetler gets a shot. There's Sharon, Sherry Castle again. And Sharon Panky takes it. At midfield, played by number five of the shooters, there's Sherry Benelli gets a nice defensive play over to Jean McPhee. Shooters take control deep in the goal buster's end, number 13. Donna Carlin over in the corner. Over to Jean McPhee. There it's played. By the goal buster, Sherry Benelli gets a nice kick out. And it goes out of bounds here over here on the near side. There's Sherry Benelli, who's helped to put together this goal busters team to compete in the Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League. Back to live action. Okay, we have a call. It'll be a free kick for the goal busters. Young Nee Richter will put it in play here on the near sidelines. Nice throw in. Sherry Castle gets it past two defenders. There it'll be played by number 15, Judy Fincher, who gets it into the goalie, Sharon Panky. Another nice play by Sherry Castle. Young B. Richter, a nice header at center. Handled there by Robin Laidler. There's number seven for the shooters. Over to Jean McPhee. Sylvia Hostetler plays a nice kick into the shooter's end. Handled there by Christy Sutherland, another shot. And the shooters get it out. Christy Sutherland handles it again from deep in that corner. She's gonna try to get a centering pass. And it goes out of bounds. Rosanna Bordieri knocks it out of bounds there with the score. Goal busters one, shooters nothing here in the first period of play. There's Rosanna Bordieri, puts it in play. Terry Brim handles it deep in that corner. A shot on goal, Christy Castle kicks it over the goal above Sharon Panky, but it's beyond the goal, so no score there. That's Sharon Panky for the Mira Mesa Women's League shooters. She'll put it in with a goal kick from her own end. And back to action. A nice shot by Terry Brim, handled there by Rosanna Bordieri. A lot of defensive play here by the shooters. Into goal, Sharon Panky handles it, and she'll punt it out of there.
There's Michelle Santiago for the Gold Busters, Sylvia Hostetler. Gene McPhee for the Shooters gets it down into the Gold Busters end. Handled there by number seven, Sh Sherry Benelli gets a nice kick out over to Young Me Richter. She's gonna get it past another defender. Terry Brim takes it all the way in. Defended there by Rena Scarpaletti. Over to Jean McPhee. All the way down to center field where it'll be handled by Donna Carlin. On defense there for the Gold Busters. Number 13, for Donna Carlin for the shooters. She'll throw it in from the far corner. That looks like Gene McPhee to throw it in for the shooters. Gets it in to number seven for the shooters. Sylvia Hostetler takes control, tries to get it out for the Gold Busters, but it carries out of bounds. Gene McPhee will throw it in for the shooters. Shooters are sponsored by Stephen Tuttle, a dentist. Goes out of bounds behind the goal. Michelle Wagner, who hasn't had too much action lately because the goal busters have been keeping it down in the shooter's end, gets a goal kick here, puts it into play. It's handled there by Rosanna Bordieri. She tries to get it past two defenders. Nice kick up field. It'll be chased down by Christy Sutherland along with Kimberly Powelson goes out of bounds. <laughs> Leslie Mary for the Mira Mesa Women's League shooters. She goes down on defense. Rosanna Bordieri with the ball. Sylvia Hostetler is shot on goal. Fielded there by Sharon Pankey. She gets a punt out. Sylvia Hostetler handles it there. Keeps it in play with Jean McPhee. It goes out of bounds. Jean throws it in to number 13, Donna Carlin. Sylvia Hostetler downfield playing defense with Jean McPhee. Goes out of bounds again. Late in the first period of play, the Goal Busters have a one to nothing lead on a Sherry Castle goal over the Mira Mesa Women's League shooters. Sylvia Hostetler will throw it, in, throw it into play for the Gold Busters. Over to Terry Brim. Gets it down to Sherry Castle, who tries to set up a pass. Shooters get it all the way down into the Gold Busters end. Robin Laidler handles it deep down there. Over to Michelle Wagner, who makes a nice save. Whistle is called appears to be an offsides call against the shooters. So Michelle Wagner will put it into play with a kick all the way up to Young Me Richter. She tries to get it over to Terry Brim. Young Me out of bounds where the shooters will put it into play. That's number 16, Leslie Mary. Stop, Rip. stop, stop. We'll take a timeout to make a substitution. And to her left is Michelle Wagner in goal. As we take a timeout here for substitutions in the first period of play. Leslie Mary will put it into play for the shooters who trail the Gold Busters one to nothing. Here's another whistle. She, her foot was on the line when she threw it in, so Shooters will lose a ball. Young Me Richter will put the ball in play for the Gold Busters. Gets it in to Leslie Mary, who kicks it out of bounds, where Young Me will put it into play again. Roberta Wright and Barb. Good Roberta Wright, Barb. Good Keep it up. Keep with them. Rosanna Bordieri 
along with Leslie Mary there. Rosanna gets a nice kick downfield. It stays in play. Sherry Castle has a shot. And Sharon Pankey fields it, and she'll punt it out of there for the shooters, out to number 10 for the shooters. Rosanna Bordieri there for the Gold Busters, tries to get it downfield, goes out of bounds where the shooters will put it into play. Yeah. Young Me Richter keeps it in play, but it goes out of bounds down there. Put in play by the shooters. Young Me gets control of the ball down to Rosanna Bordieri. Over to Christy Sutherland. There's Sylvia Hostetler, a shot on goal fielded by Sharon Pankey. She gets a nice punt out. Young Me Richter with a ball over to Sylvia Hostetler, but misses. But Sylvia gets it back, and she goes down to Christy Sutherland. Shot on goal, but Sharon Pankey picks it up there, punts it out to number 16, Leslie Mary. Young Me Richter takes control there, and then over to one of the other shooters, who we don't have a number for. Oh, yes, we do. That is uh, Roberta Martin. Doesn't have a number on her back. There's Sylvia Hostetler for the Gold Busters, trying to get an attack going to get their second goal. Nice shot, but it's off to the left, past Sharon Pankey. It's the ball into play for the shooters. Shot on goal, just off to the right. Let's take a look at that again. Terry Brim gets a shot right past Sharon Pankey, but it's off to the right of the goal as the Gold Busters hold a one to nothing lead over the shooters in the Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League. This is just a scrimmage, but there'll be a lot of more action in January as these two teams participate in the Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League. Goal kick goes out to number 18, Pat Clark, who keeps it in bounds. Over to number five. There's number 10, Barb Ornelas. Sherry Benelli tries to get it back and does to Gladys Swenherd. Number seven there. Sylvia Hostetler gets it back to Sherry Benelli. Nice kick out to Roberta Martin for the shooters. Shooters trying to mount enough attack here to get it through the goal, but the goal, post, goal buster is putting up a nice defense. There's a, from Sylvia Hostetler over to Sh Michelle Wagner, who gets a nice kick out to midfield. Nice header by Barb Onelis. Fielded there by Roberta Martin. A save over to number 10, Barbara Nellis in. A shot on goal by Roberta Rena Scarpelletti. Past the goalie. Let's take a look at that again. Rena Scarpelletti gets it past Michelle Wagner for the goal. So, late in the first period of play, the shooters tie it up one to one with the goal buster. Rena Scarpaletti had the assist, but Joanne White was the one that scored the goal. And we return to action. Sylvia Hostetler and Terry Brim put it in play for the Gold Busters down deep into the shooter's territory. Young Me Richter takes control of it, gets it down deep into the shooter's territory and out of bounds. Put into play by the shooters. Sherry Castle gets a pass across. Rosanna Bordieri tries to take it, and Christy Sutherland does. But the shooters get it out. They're on the attack again. Number 14, Rena Scarpaletti down to Joanne White. Another shot saved by Kathy Morgan. It goes out of bounds.
There's Kathy Morgan, who just made that save out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for the shooters. Into play to Joanne White. And into the corner, tries to get a pass out. There's young me, Richter. Sherry Castle takes control. She already has one goal. She's going to try to get it into the shooter's territory. It's controlled there by Barbara Nellis. Over to Sylvia Hostetler. Nice save to keep it into bounds by Christy Sutherland. Sylvia Hostetler there. All the way down deep into shooter's territory, fielded there by Judy Fincher. Goes out of bounds deep in the corner, where number 15, Judy Fincher, will put it into play. Sylvia Hostetler with a ball. Over to Christy Sutherland. All the way down into Goldbusters territory. Shot on goal. There's a save. Shot by number seven. Let's take a look at that again. Shooters bring it down against a heavy defense by the Goldbusters. And then number seven for the shooters fires it past Michelle Wagner for the goal. So here in this first period of play, the shooters take a two to one lead over the Goldbusters. Sue Kennard with that uh, goal to give the shooters a two to one lead. Sue Kennard scores that goal past Michelle Wagner. Here's the kickoff by the Goldbusters. Sylvia Hostetler takes control. Nice play by Rena Scarpaletti. Sylvia Hostetler tries to get a pass over to Sherry Castle, almost does. Goes all the way into Sharon Pankey, who will punt it out of there. Up to number 10, Barbara Nellis. Taken there by number 7, Sue Kennard. Number 18, Pat Clark gets the kick. Barbara Nellis into Kathy Morgan. And Sue Kennard takes a hard hit there, but she'll. She'll be all right. Sherry Benelli will put it into play with a free kick. Number 10, Barbara Nellis puts it into play for the shooters. Sherry Benelli Gets it back to Michelle Wagner, who makes a nice kick out of there. She's got a strong kick. Nice kick by the shooters. Into number 14, Rena Scarpaletti. Number five, a shot on goal. That's Joanne White. She has a goal in this game. All the way over to Kimberly Powelson in the corner. She's contested there by Kathy Morgan. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be put into play by the Goldbusters. Goldbusters trail by a score of two to one to the shooters in this Mira Mesa Women's League game. This is just a scrimmage. More action in January when these two teams put on their uniforms and contest the Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League. Sherry Benelli, nice kick out. Pat Clark over to Joanne White. She tries to get it past the Goldbusters into Myrie Phillips, who contests that one. And it'll be played there by Michelle Wagner, who gets it out. Shakey's Pizza and Versatile Video is happy to bring you uh, these amateur soccer and baseball and any other sport that you'd like to have us come out and televise, and we'll show it at Shakey's. That's the end of the first half with the shooters leading 2-1 to one over the Goldbusters. 
We'll be back. We'll be right back for the beginning of the second half right after this. Tony Gwynn, 33 stolen bases on the year. Well, if Gwynn's thinking about going the way Smith bent that left leg, that can be a tricky one. That's close to a mock move. Deep right field. Way back. Cotto going back to the wall. It's gone. Home run derby. And there will be tomorrow. Shakey's Pizza and Versatile Video. We hope you're enjoying the show. What we want to know is when is your next scheduled game because we'd like to be there to tape it. Hey, give us a call at 693-1913 or ask one of the managers. Thank you. Welcome back to Mira Mesa. Correction, Mira Mesa High School West, as Versatile Video and Shakey's Pizza present this Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League game between the Gold Busters and the Shooters. The Shooters in the light blue uniforms have a two to one lead on goals by Joanne White and Sue Kennard. And Sherry Castle for the Gold Busters has the only goal for them. There's um, Rosanna Bordieri. Kathy Morgan gets it out to the center where Christy Sutherland takes control. Rosanna, correction, Sylvia Hostetler takes it. Shooters get it out to center. Rosanna Bordieri there. Correction, that's Terry Brim. No, that's Rosanna Bordieri. Out to number 10, Barb Ornelas. Shooters attempting to get a score. Barb Ornelas takes it again. It's saved there by Kathy Morgan. Nice, playing a nice game defensively. Barb Ornelas tries to get a shot past Mary Phillips. Rosanna Bordieri saves, but uh, Roberta Martin tries to get it back in for the shooters. A shot on goal by number seven, Sue Kennard, is saved there by Michelle Wagner. A nice kick by Michelle Wagner all the way out to center. Sherry Castle gets a header to move it along where Sylvia Hostetler tries to take it, but Jean McPhee makes the save and sends it out of bounds where Michelle Santiago will put it in play for the Gold Busters. Rosanna Bordieri takes it there. Number 16, Leslie Mary. Michelle Santiago, Rosanna Bordieri gets it upfield for the Gold Busters. Nice save there by Jean McPhee. Lauren Frederick gets a kick and it'll go out of bounds. It'll be thrown in there by Michelle Santiago. Santiago. Rosanna Bordieri plays it over to Lauren Frederick. Back to Rosanna Bordieri. Looks like it hit her hand, so it'll be a free kick for the shooters. Again, the shooters lead 2-1 to one over the Gold Busters in the Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League. This is just a scrimmage. A lot more action coming in January, and we hope to be able to bring it to you on versatile video and Shakey's Pizza. Fielded there by Donna Woodcock. Shot on goal, nice save. Shot by Sue Kennard, saved by Michelle Wagner. Sue Kennard brings it down to the sidelines. Let's look at that, look at that again. Sue Kennard brings it down the sidelines and into Michelle Wagner. Nice save there by Myrie Phillips. 
back into play. Sylvia Hostetler gets it over to Christy Sutherland, tries to get it downfield. Sherry Castle almost gets the pass, fielded by Judy Fincher there, who gets it back out. Shooters will try to get it back out of their own territory. That's Michelle Santiago. Sylvia Hostetler over to Sherry Castle. Sylvia tries to get it past. Rosanna Bordieri shot over to Christy Sutherland. It goes out of bounds over here on the near sideline. Roberta Martin throws it in for the shooters. Christy Sutherland fields it for the goal busters. Gets it out. Rosanna Bordieri there. Tries to pass over to Christy Sutherland, but it goes out of bounds. Roberta Martin throws it in for the shooters. Both feet have to be on the ground, so Roberta Martin lose that throw in. It'll be thrown in there by Donna Woodcock. Sue Kennard gets it down. Contested there by Kathy Morgan. Gets it into Sherry Benelli, who kicks it out. Sue Kennard, and it goes out of bounds off of Kathy Mar Morgan. There's Sue Kennard, who has one goal in the game. She's played a real good game at right wing for the shooters. Yeah, here, back to action. Roberta Martin throws it in. It's got out by Gladys Swensrud. Sylvia Hostetler gets it across to Christy Sutherland. All the way down in the corner, Lauren Frederick on defense there for the shooters. Tries to get it out of bounds. Brings it upfield to Donna Woodcock. There's Rosanna Bordieri. Gets a nice pass in, trying to find a center in there to score the goal goes out of bounds off Michelle Santiago there's Judy Fincher who'll throw it in for the shooters who have a two to one lead over the gold busters early here in the second period of play Judy Fincher throws it in over to Donna Carlin who gets it downfield nice kick by Kathy Morgan Shooters get it back out. Kathy Morgan tries to get it back into the goal, uh, into the shooter's end. Nice pass over to Sylvia Hostetler. There's Christy Sutherland. It's fielded deep in that in territory by Sharon Pankey. Rosanna Bordieri kicked out to Michelle Santiago. There's Sue Kennard, gets it downfield. Nice defensive play. Both players go down. There's Roberta Martin and Donna Woodcock down to Christy Sutherland. She tries to get it past. Sylvia Hostetler falls just short. There's Sherry Castle with, with one goal already. Sylvia Hostetler, good save by Sharon Pankey. Donna Woodcock. Out to Roberta Martin downfield. Saved by Kathy Morgan. She tries to get it back into play. Shooters on the attack now. On defense, there's Myrie Phillips. Gets a nice kick out there. There's Roberta Martin downfield. Tries to get it to Sue Kennard. Nice save by Gladys Swensrud. Over to Christy Sutherland. Tries to get it down to Hostetler. There's Bordieri. Defended by Judy Fincher. Lauren Frederick over on the far side. Gets it past Rosanna Bordieri. She's going to try to get a pass down into the center. Over to number 10, Barbara Nalis. There's Roberta Martin. Takes control of the ball right in center. Over to Sue Kennard. She's deep in the corner. She'll try to get it back into the center. Almost does. There's defending is Gladys Swensrud. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick by Michelle Wagner. Shooters lead two to one as Michelle Wagner kicks off for the goal busters.
Goal kick. Back into play, number five, Joanne White. Rosanna Bordieri tries to get it upfield for the goal busters. There's number four, Lauren Frederick. Gladys Swensrud gets it out. Another shot in by Lauren Frederick, fielded by Michelle Wagner. She gets another nice kick out over to Sylvia Hostetler, who tries to get control over to Sherry Castle. She's got two defenders between her and the goal, but the ball goes out of bounds for the shooters. Here's Sherry Castle with one goal in this game. She's strong when she has that ball down in that corner, and she can take it in and score, as we've seen earlier. And we'll change it. Here's Joanne White throwing it in for the shooters. We'll have a substitution coming in for the shooters. Number eight, Andrea Brundage. Shooters put it in play. We'll go with a whistle again. Still substituting. In for the Gold Busters is Robin Laidler. Okay, she shoots it in with one foot, so the Gold Busters take over. That'll be Michelle Santiago to throw it in for the Gold Busters as they try to tie it up down here in the shooter's end. Over to Sherry Castle. Nice kick by Lauren Frederick to get it out. Michelle Santiago stops it. Shooters bring it up field, number 10. Barbara Nalis over to Jean McPhee. Goes out of bounds. It'll be shooter's ball. That's Robin Laidler gets it up to Michelle Santiago, who will throw it in for the Gold Busters. Sylvia Hostetler and Jean McPhee contest the ball. It goes out of bounds. The Gold Busters will throw it in again. <laughs> Michelle Santiago throws it in as the Gold Busters... Okay, she... Her foot left the ground when she threw it in, so the shooters will try it from the same spot. Throwing it in is Donna Carlin. Over to Jean McPhee. She's trying to get into someone to go in there and score. Young Me Richter tries to get it out. That's Donna Woodcock. All the way down into the gold buster, into the shooter's end. It'll be shooter's ball. Rosanna Bordieri at midfield for the goal busters. Shooters throw it back in. Donna Woodcott takes control at midfield over to Rosanna Bordieri. She gets it a nice pass upfield. Sherry Castle will chase it down along with Judy Fincher. Sherry Castle takes control, tries to get it past. Bar, uh, Sharon Pankey. Sharon Pankey takes control. Here's Sherry Pankey doing a nice job in goal for the shooters. Has only allowed one goal. Out of bounds off of the foot of Judy Fincher. Sherry Castle chases it down. Here's Michelle Santiago to throw it in for the Gold Busters. Throws it down to Sylvia Hostetler. Gets it back to Michelle. She gets a nice kick into Sherry Castle, who puts a header on it, tries to get it inbounds, but it goes back out. It'll be a goal kick for Sharon Pankey. Sharon Pankey, whose team leads 2-1 to one over the Gold Busters in the Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League. Action here brought to you by Versatile Video and Shakey's Pizza. 
If you'd like a copy of this tape, contact Shakey's Pizza at 693-1913. Christy. Lots of time crossing. There's Christy Sutherland. Shooters get it out on top. That's Sue Kennard. Kept in bounds there by Kathy Morgan in the in the shooter's end. Nice play. Gladys Swensrud gets it down into the shooter's end. It goes out of bounds. Where number eight, Andrea Brundage, will throw it into Sue Kennard. Kick over to center. Sue Kennard gets it again in the corner. She'll try to center it again. She does to Andrea Brundage, but Michelle Wagner gets a hold of it. Another nice kick way out to the center where Sylvia Hostetler takes it. She'll get it down to Christy Sutherland. She's going to try to play it into the middle. Sylvia Hostetler gets it again. That goes over to the middle. Rosanna Bordieri, Donna Woodcock. Sylvia Hostetler with it. Gets it all the way down into the corner, trying to find Sherry Castle. Sherry is able to keep it into play. Over to Sylvia Hostetler. She'll get a center kick. Shot on goal. Nice save. Let's take a look at that again. A nice shot by Sylvia Hostetler and a nice save by the shooters. Back to live action. A shot and a goal by Sylvia Hostetler. Let's look at that again. The throw in comes from the right side over to Sylvia Hostetler. Takes one shot past Sharon Pankey for the goal. So, Goalbusters tie it up here in the second period, two to two with the shooters. Stetler, who scored her first goal of this game, to tie it up for the Goalbusters, two to two with the shooters, as we have the kickoff at center. Number seven, Sue Kennard will put it in play for the shooters when we resume play. There we go. Shooters get it down to Donna Woodcock. Sue Kennard gets it past one defender. It's saved there by Kathy Morgan. Rosanna Bordieri trying to defend Barbara Nalis. Gets it upfield. There's Sherry Castle. Gets it upfield to Sylvia Hostetler. A nice pass by Sylvia up to Sherry Castle. She's got one defender between her and the goal, and that one defender is Andrea Brundage. Nice save by Andrea goes out of bounds in the far corner where the goal busters will put it back into play. Here's Michelle Santiago throwing it into Sylvia Hostetler, who just scored for the Goldbusters. Shot into the center by Michelle is saved by number eight, Andrea Brundage, who's playing a nice defensive game here for the shooters. Sylvia Hostetler with it in the corner, defended there by Judy Fincher. Goes out of bounds where the shooters will put it into play. Judy Fincher for the shooters. Michelle Santiago tries to get a kick. Shooters are going to get it out of, the, out of their own end here and try to mount an attack to take the lead back from the goal busters. Roberta Martin at center field gets it across. Donna Woodcott defends, keeps it in play for the goal busters. And Andrea Brundage kicks it over to the near side where Sue Kennard takes it. Nice pass, but no one's there. Sue Kennard trying to get to the center. Young Me Richter gets it up to Michelle Wagner, who will kick it way out to center field. Sherry Castle takes it there. Number 15, Judy Fincher. Number four, Lauren Frederick. Okay, they stop play, free kick for the shooters. appears to be a push against Sherry Castle. Shooters will get a free kick right at the mid, right near the midfield stripe. Back in play. 
Nice save by Kathy Morgan. Long kick downfield. Sylvia Hostetler will try to go against Andrea Brundish. She does get control. A shot. Two goals in a row for Sylvia Hostetler. Let's take a look at that again. Sylvia Hostetler fights for the ball with Andrea Brundage and then takes it all the way in by herself past Sharon Pankey for the goal. So the, sh the goal busters with two straight goals by Sylvia Hostetler take a three to two lead. Kickoff goes to Kathy Morgan. Number 10, Barbara Nellis tries to get it in. Nice save by, I believe, Donna Woodcock. No, that's Gladys Swenhurt, Swensroot. So it'll be a goal kick for the shooters. Check that, a corner kick. Okay. Corner kick by the shooters after the defensive play sends the ball out of bounds when we resume play here. Shooters trying to tie it up after Sylvia Hostetler ties it up for the ghost goal busters and then goes ahead with two goals in a row. And here's the corner kick for the shooters. Nice kick into the center. Michelle Wagner fields it. Nice defensive play. She gets the kick out. There's Sherry Castle at midfield along with Christy Sutherland. They're going to try to get it down. There's not much defense between Sherry and Christy and the goal. But the shooters get the defense. Nice play by number 10, Barbara Nellis. Young Me Richter playing defense now. She tries to stop it. Jean McPhee gets it almost past Michelle Wagner, but she gets the save. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at that again. As it gets past Michelle Wagner, and it'll be a corner kick for the shooters. Back to live action. The shooters are trailing the goal busters with a corner kick here. Two to, three to two goal busters over the shooters. Nice corner kick. Michelle Santiago keeps it out. Kathy Morgan tries to get it out and does. It'll be out of bounds, so the shooters will put it back into play. Number four, Lauren Frederick throws it in. Kathy Morgan stops it. Young Me Richter gets it over to Michelle Wagner, who will punt it out of there. Over to Rosanna Bordieri. Sylvia Hostetler takes it. Nice pass upfield there to Pat Clark. Sherry Castle takes it, gets it up in the air to keep it in play, trying to get it to Rosanna Bordieri. She keeps it in play. Christy Sutherland knocks it upfield. There's Sylvia Hostetler. There's Sharon Pankey. She gets it out for the shooters. Michelle Santiago takes it right back in her chest. It'll go out of bounds. Shooters will put it in play with a free kick as it hits Michelle Santiago's hands. Shooters keep it in play in the Gold Busters end. Number seven, Sue Kennard takes it. Over to Kathy Morgan for the Gold Busters. There's Roberta Martin for the Shooters. Gets it down to Gladys Swensrud. Christy Sutherland takes it, tries to get it, get something going. And it'll be illegal use of hands for the Gold Busters. Goes in, a shot on goal, score by Jean McPhee. The free kick by the shooters, as we look at this on instant replay, Goes into number three, Jean McPhee, who makes the score past Michelle Wagner to tie the score up three to three. Shooters against the goal busters. There's Sherry Castle and Donna Carlin. It goes out of bounds. The goal busters will take it. This one's going to go all the way down to the wire. Michelle Santiago. Michelle Santiago throws it in for. 
the Gold Busters. She can't seem to keep both feet down, so the shooters will take over. Throw in will go there by Donna Carlin. Many of these players have not played together, so you can see that when they've had a chance to play together a little bit in the Miramesa Women's Soccer League, the games can only improve from here, and this is one of the better soccer games I've ever seen. Here we go. Sherry Castle into Lauren Frederick. They'll try it again. It appears to be a penalty against the shooters. Nope, Michelle will throw it in from the sidelines. She tries to get into Sherry Castle. Almost does. She's contested there by Leslie Mary. Up to Jean McPhee, who just scored for the shooters to tie it up. And it goes out of bounds, where the Gold Busters will put it into play. Gold Busters and shooters in this scrimmage at Mira Mesa High School West are tied three goals apiece. As Michelle Santiago puts it into play for the Gold Busters, trying to break this tie, Rosanna Bordieri over there, number 15, Judy Fincher, and it goes out of bounds where the shooters will put it into play. Throws it into Lauren Frederick. Michelle Santiago on defense, gets it down to number 16, Leslie Mary, who keeps it away from the goal. Michelle Santiago, nice play, kicks it downfield to Sherry Castle, but it goes out of bounds there. Nope, it doesn't, it stays in. Sherry Castle in the corner, tries to get a pass across to Sylvia Hostetler. No good, Andrea Brundridge on defense down there for the shooters, kicks it out of bounds. It'll be Gold Busters throw in. Michelle Santiago will throw it in for the Gold Busters. Goes into Lauren Frederick, who hey, Chris, knocks it out of bounds again. Cross. So the Gold Busters will go a little get bit deeper. There, be ready. Look where their players are. You can get way up there. Stay out of the water, Michelle. Get in front of Santiago them. throws it in. She's go. had a problem with leaving her feet, and she does that time. Michelle. So the shooters take over as Michelle Santiago lifts a foot on the throw in. The throw in goes to Sharon Pankey. She'll kick it out to midfield over to Lauren Frederick. And Lauren Frederick gets a hand on the ball, so the Gold Busters will get a free kick from deep well, in shooter's territory. See who takes the throw in. The throw in by Michelle Santiago goes down to Sherry Castle, but she can't get control of it. Shooters bring it out to midfield. Number three, Jean McPhee. Over to number 10, Barbara Nellis. She gets it past one defender. All the way in, a nice pass. Young Me Richter takes control of the ball, but good defense by Donna Carlin keeps it in play. Goes out of bounds. Out of bounds by Robin Laidler. Mira Mesa High School West, Virtual Video and Shakey's Pizza present this preseason game in the Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League between the Gold Busters and the Shooters. We're all tied up here late in the game as the two teams try to fight it out and score a goal to see who wins. A hotly fought battle between both teams early in the preseason. These two teams will probably meet more than once in the Mira Mesa Women's Soccer League. And if this is any indication, they will be hotly contested battles. A whistle. Play is stopped and it'll be a free kick. It's an indirect free kick. Cannot go directly into the goal. 
It'll be an indirect free kick for the shooters. So it's got to go to another player before it goes into the goal. Number 13, Donna Carlin, next to the ball, gets the kickoff. And then the shot, and it goes off to the left. We'll put it into play with a goal kick for the goal busters, trying to break this 3-3 tie. Sherry Castle sends it out of bounds with Lauren Frederick. That's the end of the game as the two teams tie in this scrimmage, three to three, goal busters three and shooters three. We had two goals for the goal busters by Sylvia Hostetler, along with one by Sherry Castle. Number three, Jean McPhee had one for the shooters, along with Joanne White and Sue Kennard. But the, both teams looking like mid-season form only the Gold Busters without uniforms have played a fine game at Mira Mesa High School West. This is Rick Lakin with versatile video and Shakey's Pizza, along with Sheldon Krasner, who produced today. Thank you very much, and enjoy the game.